It's one of the toughest sports in the world. And on Friday night, 26 fighters, both amateurs and pros of all weight classes, put up the gloves for Five Star Fight League 11. The amateurs took to the octagon first, including a strong contingent of local fighters, all proving their place in the MMA books. The highlight fight was surely the female matchup, where Elise Stevenson won by unanimous decision over local fighter Robin Combs. But a strong showing for both fighters. Then the pros took to the stage, including a heavyweight bout, the welterweight title, and finally the main event. Local fighter Brad Stewart looking to defend his middleweight title over Edmonton's Cody Cron. The first round pretty much all a ground game wearing down each other. The complete opposite for round two and then a scary moment in round three. Stewart with what appears an injured rib but he would not leave the fight. Instead moments later a 3-2 combo sent Cron packing. It could be the best finish the league has seen in history. And for Stewart, it couldn't have came at a better time in front of a home crowd. I was tried not to think about it because I get myself psyched out, but you know, once it was all over and I knew I won in front of everybody, then it hit me and I, yeah, it's almost too much. <laughs> for Kron, slightly more battered and bruised, but gave Stewart the proper credit he deserves. My big thing was I was going to try to gas out his arms, let him have round one, and then try to come back in the second round. But like I said, Brad's just a tough guy. He's been in wars, and uh, it didn't work out for me, unfortunately. So it's a title successfully defended, and it didn't come easy. I'll tell you, you could hear a pin drop in this room when everyone realized Stewart was injured. But at the end of the night, he can rest easy with that belt securely around his waist. Mitch Bach, CJDC-TV Sports, Fort St. John.